Hello, first graders. You have been working so hard in reading and doing a great job, making all kinds of progress. Today, we're going to talk about some jobs that readers have. Now, when you were at school, you had lots of jobs. Sometimes your job might be to be the line leader. You might have had the job of passing out paper to your friends. When you're at home, there are lots of jobs that you probably have. You might have the job of making your own bed, picking up toys. Maybe one of your jobs is to help set the table. Well, readers have very important jobs when they are learning to read harder and harder books. What is so special about these reading jobs is that you are the boss. You are the one in charge of your reading. Nobody else is there to tell you every step of the way. You are the one in charge. So, today I want to teach you that when readers are the boss of their own reading, one of their jobs is to stop at the first sign of trouble and say, I can solve this. I can try something using all the things I know. So we're going to try that out today with a little reading that we will do together. Before we read together, I just want to remind you of some of the things we've talked about at school, different ways we can try to solve difficult words or tricky words. So I made a little list for us. Good habits for solving hard words. You can check the picture. You can look at all the parts of the word. You can get a running start. Check it. Do a double check. Try it two ways. And now that we're at the end of the year almost, you can try it more than two ways. Crash the parts together. Do a slow check. Say the word the best you can and think about what it means. These are some of the things that you can try when you come to a tricky word. All right, let's try it out with pig the fiver. You can see some of the words or pictures. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he would often tell lies just to get his own way. And when he would fib, he was awfully clever. He, when Pig got in trouble, he would always blame Trevor. I feel sorry for Trevor. You see, he would mess up the living room mat. And then he'd just... Uh-oh, readers, here is a tricky word. And then he just, okay, I want you to think about something you know you might be able to do if you come to a word and you're not sure what it is. Can you think of something? Okay, let's try checking the picture. What is Pig doing in this picture? Do you see that? Yeah, he's pointing. Let's see if that helps us. And then he just point. You guys, that works. That helps us. We looked at the picture and then we checked it with the letters and it works. And then he just point and say, Trevor did that. Poor Trevor. Let's try one more. He once even, okay, we've come to a tricky word again. He once even, up. So we could try taking a running start. He once even tore up, maybe. We could try looking at the picture. He once even chewed up, that would make sense. Let's see here, do some checking and double checking. He once even, okay, it is not tore and it's not chewed. He once even rip, rip ed. He once even rip ed up. Oh, that's not sounding quite right. Let's try it another way. He once even rip, we just learned ed could be t. He once even ripped up. He once even ripped up a lovely old dress. I think we got it. Friends, we didn't just stop and put the book down. We stopped and said, 
I can solve this. And then we used different strategies that we've learned and that we know. All right, before we end, I would like to sing one song with you. And I am not a singer. You can join in. If you think something's wrong, you've got to stop. If you think something's wrong, you've got to stop. If you think something's wrong and you say, what's going on? If you think something's wrong, you've got to stop. Okay, readers, remember, when you are the boss of your own reading, one of your jobs is to stop at the first sign of trouble and say, I can solve this. I can try something using all that I know. So I hope you will do that today. Off you go readers.